Hello, everyone. I, Varun Agarwal, welcome you all to another webinar organized by ETCI on behalf of Airtel Blue Jeans on the topic of pure, simple, and seamless conferencing for businesses. COVID-19 has been an overwhelming experience, especially for enterprises. It has pushed businesses to change the traditional work model and adapt to a newer way of working. Work from home was born in haste. Organizations were not allowed enough time and therefore they had to make do with the technological resources available in the market at that time. Now that organizations are slowly accepting and adapting to the new normal, the first step here is to ensure their employees are connected in a safe, secure, and seamless manner so that their productivity remains strong. Therefore, they need a unified platform that seamlessly supports conferencing across channels and devices. Now, Verizon and Airtel formed an alliance in India to address the requirement of a secure, simple, and seamless business conferencing solution. It further aims at facilitating a secure and productive work from home and rather work from anywhere experience for every business. So today we'll take you through the solution called Blue Jeans. Now, before we begin, let me remind you that our speakers will be taking questions from the audience. So if you have any questions, please put it across in the Q&A section. We'll take them up after the presentation. Now, to talk further about Blue Jeans, we have with us uh, Quinton Gullivan, who's the CEO of Blue Jeans by Verizon, and Alok Shukla, who's the head product management and business solution group at Apple Business. So let's hear it from Quinton now. Over to you, Quinton. Uh, great, and, and good afternoon. And in, in the spirit of the new normal, I'm joining you all from uh, San Francisco, uh, California. And I, I'd just like to uh, start and tell you how excited Blue Jeans and Verizon are about the strategic partnership with Airtel. Uh, as we got to know the, the Airtel team, uh, we're very excited about the depth of the relationship. We're very excited about the India market working together. And for us, it was really about uh, a shared company culture and a shared vision for the future of work. So, so the new normal, uh, Blue Jeans has been providing enterprise video collaboration services for, for customers over the last 10 years. And so over the last 10 years, we've really been working with customers, helping them on their digital transformation journey. And, and pre-COVID, uh, when we were working with customers, uh, they're all in various levels of the spectrum in terms of their penetration and adoption around video collaboration, either working uh, within their organization uh, in terms of employee productivity or using video collaboration to expand their reach to their customers and their partners. And so what happened um, in, the, in the global pandemic, um, and I do remember the weekend of March 9th uh, so, so vividly, is that customers that were in various levels of their digital journey around video collaboration, all of a sudden the light switch went on. And the weekend of March 9th, 95% of our customers, our global customers of which we have 15,000, all sent their employees home to work. And so that journey uh, accelerated uh, dramatically. And so for us, it was really making sure that we held our system up and were able to support the workload. Fortunately, we were. And that weekend, we saw a 400% increase in terms of usage and volume from our customers on a global basis. So clearly, we've been working with our customers over the last six months, listening to what their thoughts are about what does the new normal look like. When they return to work, how are people going to work? How are people going to be productive? And so I wanted to share with you a couple of the uh, thoughts and, and, uh, and, and lessons that we're getting from our, our customers over the last six months. One, I think they're finding that employees have been very productive uh, in this work from home and environment. And even here, uh, Gartner did uh, research analysts here and, and they surveyed customers and they found over 74% of the companies felt uh, their employees were as productive or more productive uh, in this new normal environment. Other things that we've learned uh, in terms of um, what happened over the last six months is new use cases uh, emerged. And use cases uh, involving um, how to engage employees on a massive basis. And so things like digital or virtual 
uh, town halls became a critical part of, of supporting uh, employees. We've got that interactive video experience. Uh, new use cases in terms of how do you hire people and using video collaboration as a way to recruit employees uh, to the firm. Uh, talking to the, through the supply chain, using video collaboration uh, to drive that. And then new embedded use cases um, around things like telemedicine start to emerge um, on, on a global basis in terms of the new normal. And so when we talk to our customers about what does return to work look like, what we're hearing is really companies are focused on having a hybrid environment where, yes, they'll, they'll come back to the office, they'll socially distance, uh, to make sure it's safe for their employees. But more importantly, they're going to provide employees optionality. So it'll be this combination of working from the office, working from home, and, and making making that all happen is, is where we see uh, the future going forward. With, with that in mind, what are the requirements of a video collaboration uh, provider in this new uh, norm environment? So for us, we see Customers are really focusing in on universal access. In this hybrid environment, it's very important for a video collaboration tool uh, to provide customers with a simple, easy, uh, similar experience, whether you're coming in through a smartphone, uh, whether you're working from home on a laptop, or you're working through room systems in your office. So this universal access is an important uh, component that we're focused in on. Whether you're using an application, a video application again, or just a browser becomes a very important requirement. And then the other piece is how do, how do employees be productive? And so as a video uh, collaboration provider, it's important for us to provide high quality, easy to join, support all these use cases. I talked about both external use cases and, and uh, large, large town halls. And the other piece we're finding around to avoid video fatigue, which um, we all have in terms of uh, all the meetings, is how do we make meetings productive? And so we're rolling out machine learning, and we call smart meetings, that allow uh, customers to have less meetings and use the technology to make the next meeting more productive. And then the other piece that we're seeing as an important requirement is really the, the enterprise platform as customers are having to support all these different modalities, this hybrid environment of going to work, making sure there's an enterprise platform so that IT has real-time monitoring, integration to all the workflow tools, analytics, so they can support this environment. And the security in this work from home environment is, is job one. Uh, since we're all communicating and collaborating, we've got to make sure that the video collaboration provider has secure application, secure systems, secure governance, secure processes. We've all kind of read in the press what's happened uh, when security is broke down in terms of video collaboration. And then the piece we're really uh, excited about that we think is really important is um, having a partner like Airtel where then you've got local processing uh, of the Blue Jean service. You've got local support. These are all the key ingredients uh, to support this new norm and this hybrid environment going forward. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to uh, my partner, Alok. Thank you, Quentin. Uh, uh, thanks, everyone. And again, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so Varun and Quentin uh, already talked about uh, the new normal. Uh, so again, uh, why uh, why this became so different, uh, what we are talking about here, and why we at Airtel felt that, uh, you know, the strategic uh, partnership with uh, Verizon Blue Jeans uh, is, is the need of the art, the need of the market here. So I think two things happened, which was uh, previously also touched upon. One, I think uh, when the lockdown started, almost an overnight uh, adoption uh, Quentin mentioned about 400 percent usage, so it's anybody's guess in different markets from few hundred percent to thousand percentages and things like that. So one, the adoption problem got solved, and everything happened uh, almost overnight. Other than that, I think the businesses in general, the priority of digitization, 
the priority of being able to do business more efficiently i think that was another key priority for most of the enterprise uh, businesses uh, i guess world over and in india uh, one of the elements of that digitization while that's a very very wide domain was obviously how do you connect uh, seamlessly uh, not only to your internal organizations, but to your dealers, your partners, your customers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I think this is what really changed, wherein this whole idea about uh, this engagement, this partnership had started, uh, and it actually happened in in, in pretty much a record time. So uh, coming to that, uh, coming back to, you know, there were so many existing conferencing products already available in the market right we've all all heard of them been using them so uh, why this and why this was different and i wanted to spend some time on this so when we were going through this transition both in our own organizations as well as in so many customers that we were engaged with there were obviously some gaps uh, or concerns around a few things right security was one definitely uh the other part was can i do something more with our meetings than just doing uh uh you know video conferencing etc so is there a way that something more can be done uh and the third part was at least in the india context there was a lot of uh, questions a lot of concerns about where exactly is your data getting getting served from is it india is it global etc cetera, etc cetera. so i think with these three main market needs uh, uh, we decided that we'll take this great product and technology which is of a global scale the best in the breed uh, and pretty much redesign that whole thing for an india environment and uh, what that means is that this whole setup and the launch of Airtel Blue Jean, which we did pretty much uh, in the month of July 14th, if I remember correctly, was done with a with a lot of India-specific customizations, with a lot of India-specific localization that we did, because we felt that that was very very important, which is the security piece of it, the privacy piece of it, and the India hosting piece of it. Uh, one key difference here was that uh, most of the people uh, and most of the players would have started this journey of conferencing, which is very simple, intuitive, right? From a from just a conferencing standpoint, and it moved on as this gained scale because of COVID and lockdown. A lot of such applications, lot of such tools faced enormous challenges in two aspects. One was scalability. How do more and more things happen there? And the other part was obviously security. And you would have heard, seen, experienced, I'm sure, a lot of such tools and players starting then building more and more security on top of it. Wherein this particular product and platform was essentially designed for an enterprise grade security. Right from the word go, right from the word design. And therefore, it presents a very, very different uh, quality and layer of being the most secure platform. The other part was uh, about the localization, which has two implications. One implication is the experience itself, whether, you know, your conferencing is being served from, I don't know, someplace remote, someplace outside of India. That's one. And the second part is the data per se, right? The meeting recordings or like this conference that we were going on uh, is that uh, is that being done out of india right so i think these were the two building blocks of this whole strategic partnership of this whole engagement which we were uh, going through and uh, that is how this partnership happened that is how we felt that this is a play wherein while at a concept level, it's a very simple thing, but all these added layers and customizations would make a great, uh, great fitment specifically for the India market. So I think with that, uh, let me quickly give a, uh, give a sense of uh, what now Airtel Blue Jeans is in terms of the product. 
right? So I already talked about encryption, uh, security being hosted in India and why we felt that was a big gap in India in the tools available and why uh, that was an area which was concerned to most of the users enterprises. So uh, I'll go now straight to next, uh, which is the product construct of what exactly therefore Airtel Blue Jeans is, right? One, it's very simple and intuitive. Uh, Quentin also touched upon join from anything, very, very simple to, to share content, uh, etc. So it's simple and intuitive. That's that's one part, which was obviously very, very important for any such uh, tool which is there. Uh, a few of the other very, very important things were like the quality of sound. This is the only tool, the only global tool, or rather India and global put together, which has the Dolby technology integrated platform is built. Therefore, you get a very different level of uh, sound clarity, HD video, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the other part was that it obviously, when you go to any enterprise, any large customers, there's a intrinsic need to integrate with the office application, simple things like Outlook, you know, Facebook streaming and so many other things. So I think because this was an enterprise grade product, it comes with the uh, options, APIs to integrate with a range of applications, which uh, typically enterprise use to make it really an integrated part of their ecosystem. Last but not the least, uh, you know, as, as most of us would have experienced in the last uh, few months, uh, connect with our teams, connect with our customers, town halls, uh, events, etc., etc., in a virtual manner have become an integrated part of it. And therefore, uh, you know, having and conducting very, very large scale events is again one of the very, very standout features which uh, are there for Airtel Blue Jeans. Uh, it can even go almost up to the size of 50,000 attendees in a single virtual event, probably uh, one of the highest, uh, if not the highest in, in this category. So in summary, I think what uh, what Airtel Blue Jeans therefore is so simple meetings uh, between, you know, a few hundred people, events which are large events, town halls, customer events, sales kickoff, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. When we are in back in office, the simplicity of joining any Blue Jean meeting from your existing rooms, video conferencing rooms, right, which may have all different kinds of uh, existing legacy video conferencing equipments, a Polycom, Cisco, whatever, right? With a lot of the other conferencing solutions, there are either hidden things, there are complex integrations when you talk about integrating these equipments and rooms. So I think one other very, very standout things which I would like to underline is the ease and simplicity with integrating any of these uh, you know, video conferencing rooms or the rooms product by a simple dial in option into any Blue Jeans meeting, pretty much at the touch of a button. Uh, last but not the least, uh, you know, we very well understood and foresee that this ecosystem, you would have different uh, players existing. Uh, Microsoft Office and Teams, for example, is uh, because a lot of enterprises go with the uh, with an O365 cloud kind of a deployment, and therefore they would have a Teams deployment. So it also has the ability to very simply integrate with, uh, for example, uh, an ecosystem in a, in, a, in a corporate or an enterprise which has already executed Teams. So it has a gateway to Teams so that it can seamlessly work. And, and that's the basic simple construct of this product about meetings, events, ability to join from rooms very, very simply and even gateways for other products or platforms like the Teams conferencing platform. We already touched about this, the simple part of it. So pretty much uh, a zero download experience. Uh, you can join from browser, no need to have a app on your uh, desktop, etc. You can join for your phone and, and all of that. A wide, wide, probably the biggest range of browser support which is there. Uh, across, uh, you know, whether you're joining from desktop, mobile, all kinds of browsers, joining from rooms, etc. So I think that's that's the essence of it. Pretty much uh, the universal uh, adaptability of this from from anywhere.
Uh, just I wanted to spend one minute on this uh, very interesting thing. And Quentin also touched about, you know, the, the monotony when we're all sitting at home morning to night, uh, having these meetings, internal, external. So I think this is a very, very intuitive and interesting feature of, of uh, which is which is probably uh, only in Etel Blue Jeans, right? Which is that you can on the fly as you are into a meeting, capture minutes, capture screenshots within the attendees. Simple things like assign this task to Alok as an example, Varun as an example, right? So you capture minutes, assign owners at the click of a button in very very simple, and therefore. After your meeting, you know, a lot of job is done while you're doing the meeting. So again, very intuitive, very, very useful and something which is very practical, not really technology, but simple ways of capturing your screenshots. If a presentation is going on, capturing your presentations, assigning owners and moving on. So I think uh, this is what we call as smart meetings in Edel Blue Jeans uh, and a very, very simple, intuitive, yet extremely useful feature. I already talked about uh, the importance of this. I think uh, I don't need to explain. Uh, we've all experienced this firsthand uh, about the need for smaller or larger events. I think this is one product of Airtel Blue Jeans, so one part which completely, completely, I believe, stand out uh, from all the existing players and other tools that are available. And what, are, what do I mean by that? I mean basically two things. One, the quality of these events because of the Dolby technology, the video quality, the bandwidth optimization, and I'll, I'll touch upon the bandwidth optimization a bit more. But essentially, the sheer size of it, right? Uh, you know, we've had uh, some very, very, since we launched this, uh, we are engaging with, with a lot of you uh, and a lot of our existing clients, etc., and ranging from, you know, a public officer or a political, uh, you know, leader wanting to conduct a, a district event or a state event to large corporate town halls to SQ. So I think the sheer quality and the scale of these events is a standout thing for Airtel Blue Jeans uh, from anything else that is available in the market. So I think that's that's where I'll I'll leave you with. So one other thing, uh, which is without getting into technology part, but essentially speaking. What changes, what makes this quality better, right? Uh, and, and we all wonder what's different, what, what's, is, is this something which is real and how do you make it real? So without getting into technology, I think there are some very, very uh, interesting algorithms which optimize the bandwidth when you're creating and conducting these very, very large events. And as a result of those bandwidth optimization algorithms and some technologies like peer-to-peer -peer streaming, et cetera, et cetera, I think two things happen. Even in choppy network conditions or very low network bandwidth network conditions, the user experience is, is still very great, is still very high quality uh, and probably the best in class. So I think uh, that's what this uh, optimization done is, does is it improves dramatically the experience of the meetings or events that you're that you're conducting. So two things here. Uh, what what's different again in this rooms, right? One key difference is that it pretty much integrates with a range of your existing setups of video conferencing, which are existing in your offices and rooms, right? So you don't need to go with a fresh round of investments and changing everything there. So your Cisco's, the Polycom's, the traditional things, they can all be used at the touch of a button in a very, very simple way to join meetings. That's one. So you get a proper meeting room experience. The other part is, it comes the way the product has been constructed. It is an integral part of the bundle of meeting. So unlike a lot of other players and tools where this is an add on and there are hidden things and licenses and all of that, it's part of any enterprise kind of a license which is available. It's inbuilt on that, you know, at, at nothing else, no additional charges, et cetera, et cetera. Because we again felt that that's not really a, a value add that's an integral part of any office enterprise environment which is there and that's what room does is it's simple it integrates with everything and it's it's part of the standard product it's not an additional overlay complicated integration for your vc room so i think that's what uh, 
what this product does is. I think we are coming towards the end. Uh, you know, I think we've done a lot of talking, but uh, a couple of more things before I think we pause and uh, we would like to definitely hear and interact a lot more with you and 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 have that session about what you feel uh, about what you've heard from Quentin, Warun, and me. Uh, I think command center. Uh, what this means is this is essentially your control center, right? So if you're an enterprise, you have users. So this command center essentially gives complete control on your users. You can online dynamically see who's using, who's not using, how's the quality happening, you know, adding users, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So pretty much every administrative function that you can do with with the blue gene Airtel blue gene product at a central level uh, you know you have in one start in one screen the ability to monitor your uh, performance see what's going on where are the problems how many users are using it all kinds of stats so i think something very simple uh, i don't think this is any rocket science but very very useful number one for any small or large enterprises about who's wanting to see that okay now I've deployed a conferencing product is it really productive is it really meaningful etc cetera, etc cetera. how's my quality happening how many meetings are happening all of that jazz and also it seems so simple so intuitive uh, and yet this is i think a standout feature the simplicity the control that the command center of Airtel blue gene provides is again a class apart in, in pretty much any tool that is existing in the market today. So again, a standout feature for Airtel Blue Jeans. Uh, simple, uh, yet very powerful and very useful feature for I think uh, most enterprises, or I would say all enterprises. Again, for, for I think uh, a lot of the environments, right? Uh, office environments, enterprise environments, you don't really want a standout conferencing tool, right? That it's, it's a classic thing of you wanting that to be integrated with your existing uh, mail solutions, your whatever streaming solutions that you have and a range of applications. So I think this is again uh, uh, something which is based on open standards. The entire product has been built bottoms up based on open standards and, and not really a proprietary things which is all hidden in a black box so what that does is uh, because it's an enterprise grade product it enables and exposes to all customers a very easy simple integration of this conferencing product into a lot of the office environment applications which may be existing and that's what essentially the slide talked about it names a few things which are already there, a few other which are in the works, which are being developed because we constantly hear from the customer and this list keeps going bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, so I think that's what this is talking about. I think here, uh, just to summarize again, the localization or the Airtel part of it, other than this great global technology that, that Blue Gene Verizon had uh, at a global scale, what it does is it's best in the breeze uh, technology, enterprise grade. What we've done is other than the localization and security piece, which I talked about previously, I think because it's an integrated service. So for all of our customers, essentially it does two things, right? you get a very, very cost efficient solution in India. And why so? Uh, because of two reasons, right? One, that this itself, uh, although right now we are through the free trial and, and uh, you know, they, at some point shortly, we will have a commercial launch as well. But essentially one, we'll be very competitive. Two, because we are a telco and the largest, one of the largest telcos in India. So obviously it is fully integrated with Airtel's other massive voice network and therefore it's a very cost effective solution they're very efficient dial in plans there's still many organizations as we all are aware who still would want to join a meeting like uh, like uh, who are on the road from from a traditional phone right uh, not really over internet through video conferencing all of those features are available the second part of this is uh, which again was a simple you had a very key customer pain area that if something goes wrong, where do I go for support, right? Is this online chat and all of that? So I think there's a 24 bar support, uh, uh, you know, inbuilt, which is integrated into the Airtel ecosystem for most of our customers who are using other services. And I think these are some of the specifics uh, which, which uh, 
advantages which I think Air with Blue Jeans uh, brings into the table because it's an entirely integrated thing between the technology and the Airtel's network here for India. So yeah, in summary, uh, before I think I pause, uh, essentially uh, a very, very great technology, yet very customized for India. It focuses on security and it has a huge component of everything being localized in India, again for two reasons. It gives a better experience and it gives better security. It simply has a meetings product, a large events product, a room integration capability and ability to integrate with other platforms like the Teams Gateway. So I think that's what the product is. And, and with that, I think I'll, I'll take a pause here um, again. Uh, and, and I'd love to hear any feedback on what we've talked about. Uh, I hope some of these things you would be able to connect in your uh, live environment. And I think that's what we wanted to share with you. Uh, it's been a very exciting and, and a strategic journey for us with Verizon and Blue Jeans on this. And uh, I'd, I'd like to hand it over back to Warun uh, for, for any interaction or feedback and Q&A that you may have. Over to you, Warun. Thanks so much, Alok. Uh, I really liked your presentation. And one of the aspects that uh, you know, I could connect the most with was uh, uh, taking down the meeting uh, minutes of the meeting. I mean, that's something that has become such a big challenge these days. You're doing meetings after meetings these days uh, online and taking down the meetings and action points is always a challenge. So that's a great thing. Uh, we're getting a lot of questions uh, uh, from the audience and uh, the larger theme is around uh, security. So a lot of people are trying to understand what different security features are you adding uh, to blue jeans to make sure that it's more secure than others in the market. So if you put a light on uh, the security features. Uh, Quentin, you would like to uh, you would like to take that on security part? Sure. So one of the you know where you know blue jeans you know started out a little differently than some of the other video collaboration companies is that we're, we're 10 years old and we started out as an enterprise uh, platform. And so uh, we really work with the largest companies in the world. And in doing that over the 10 years, you know, security is, is part of the DNA of the company. It's part of, of making sure the infrastructure is safe to use. So in terms of uh, what security, we've got very high grade encryption in the service. Uh, we've got all the audits and the controls and compliance for, for various industries. And then we really, our command center, which is our real-time monitoring application uh, and service that, that Alok talked about, and within that, the company can really have the optionality of, of rigorous um, enterprise configuration controls, um, as rich as you want those to be. And then we also provide security where the user then can control the environment. Uh, for example, uh, you know, it's been, you know, over the last, you know, six months, you've heard about, you know, uh, bombing, Zoom bombing, and, and you know, where, people, where unwanted guests, you know, come into a meeting. And so uh, not only do we have that locked down from an enterprise standpoint, but we also give the users, uh, when you're having a meeting, uh, the simple uh, granularity of hitting a lock button once everybody's in the meeting and locking the meeting, uh, locking the content so that uh, you can control who shares content within the meeting. So um, we've got a very, security has been kind of job one for us for, for the very uh, foundation of the company and we continue to evolve around that. I think that's quite reassuring, Quinton. Uh, as a follow-up uh, question around security, a lot of people want to understand where are your data centers located because people are worried uh, from a uh, data localization standpoint and they want to make sure uh, where exactly is the data getting stored. Yes, yeah, so our, our data, uh, we, have, uh, we have data centers in India. Um, and so uh, I think that, you know, that, you know, we did that um, for, by design, one, to from a security standpoint, uh, making sure our India-based customers are very comfortable. And then just from a uh, quality and performance, you know, it's just you, you provide better quality performance 
uh, when users are accessing data centers in, in the country versus having to traverse, um, you know, outside the country. Sure, and just to good. add to yep. what Quentin said, Varun, uh, I think uh, one, it's it's all in India, and what we are working, uh, which which we talked about about the customization. Uh, right now, it's in the works. Although even the current data centers are in India, but eventually this entire product will be uh, hosted at an Airtel data center amongst our core infrastructure. So that is something which uh, which is work in progress as we speak. So uh, you know, a few weeks from now, this will be all within the telco hosted data center concept. Even uh, though it is right now also in India, but uh, it's in a separate instance in Mumbai. I think that is getting integrated into the Airtel core infrastructure. So it will be part of the Airtel slash Nextra data center facility uh, within India as part of our core telecom infrastructure. Great. Quentin, uh, people want to understand a, a little a bit more about uh, the command center view. So if you can uh, spend a minute talking about what all is included in that and how different is it uh, from competitors. Yeah, if you could show up. Uh, Loke had a good slide that, that – if you could if you could bring that back up again on the command center, then I could um, elaborate on that. But while you're while you're looking for the slide, what, what's different about the command center? Again, you know, we built the command center from focusing in on the large enterprise ten years ago, and so uh, it is very unique in the, in the in the marketplace. There really none of the other vendors have something so uh, so rich and robust. Um, as, as as a tool, and so what the, what command center is here it is right here. You can see it on the uh, you can see the slide. Is what's unique about it is we it actually provides real time monitoring and analytics of every meeting, and so this is for IT operations you can go in there and um, not only do a uh, if a customer's having a if a user's having a problem. Uh, we could provide real-time alerts. So, for example, if you wanted to, and we could set up filters. We have customer set up filters. So if there's uh, senior executives, uh, so you want to put a filter on uh, senior executives having meetings, um, and if we start to see if there's any issue in the meeting, then uh, IT gets alerted right away. Instead of waiting to get the call afterwards, you know, what happened in the meeting, uh, it actually gives you real-time analytics, real-time monitoring. And then you, with that, you can uh, not only do problem solving real-time, but then it helps you with the, uh, you know, so after-the-call forensics. Uh, it's got a deep and rich analytics um, to allow uh, to find out what's what really happened uh, with the issue. Is it a local network issue? Is it a laptop issue? Um, is it um, a firewall issue? And so that, that this real-time monitoring um, uh, really is is unique in the industry and, and a big competitive advantage. And it even becomes you know more compelling in this hybrid environment where you're monitoring uh, devices in the office, you're monitoring devices at home, you're de de monitoring devices on on the move. But I think uh, that would be helpful. Uh, Alok, uh, there, there are a lot of questions coming uh, around. And the role that Airtel is playing in this now, considering uh, your large uh, uh, network provider in the country, um, how are you making sure that the bandwidth is managed really well? Uh, because that's something that a lot of users seem to be concerned about in, in terms of uh, making sure that even if the bandwidth goes a little low, can you still uh, have the conference uh, uh, con continue to be going? Great question, uh, Varun. I think uh, it's a very valid question about what role uh, does Airtel play on this technology. So as I said, there are two, three parts to this. Uh, one part of this is that uh, this entire uh, product, as I talked about, is is hosted uh, one with Airtel eventually, right, which therefore gives a very great experience because everything is within the Airtel network. Number two, I think it is uh, it is fully uh, integrated with the Airtel's uh, network. What that means is again a better experience and flexibility to join a meeting through any of the uh, normal phones, etc. 
Uh, the third part is uh, coming about the bandwidth uh, piece, which you mentioned. So I'd like to share two things. One, I personally experienced it uh, from, from, for example, from my phone hotspot. And it works really well. It works great, uh, uh, actually. That's one. But in terms of technology, uh, the way the whole architecture has been designed is that uh, there is uh, voice, which is obviously the priority number one whenever any low bandwidth of congestion happens. Content sharing, when you're in the middle of a presentation, that's priority number two in that order. And last is the video. So essentially the three things which we are all exchanging, it prioritizes voice content and video in case of an extreme uh, low bandwidth or a bad network situation. Uh, I'd also like to touch upon there were uh, a lot of questions about how does this compare to competition uh, one that I was seeing and and just in the same context I think uh, a two three things which stand out with with all other products is one is this is uh, based on the Dolby technology so I think the voice quality clarity etc is unmatched it's it's not there in any other product number one Number two, most of the other products are actually serving the service because these are typical global platforms from outside of India. So one clear thing is that this is uh, being served from India and all the recordings of any meeting, right? So meeting recording, etc., are also locally stored in India and not outside of India. So I think these are a few standout things. And last, a lot of the way the competition is build these products for offices is that they have, uh, you know, a lot of additional costing, etc. Uh, when when integrations are needed for, for example, for rooms, etc. So I think that is standard part of the enterprise product, and it also comes with unlimited recording. That's another standout thing which is there uh, when we talk about the enterprise grade. Uh, so I think uh, that's that's what I would like to share, Varun. Hey, can I add on some of the other standout? Um advantages of blue jeans uh compared to, to the other competitors so the the other and, and complementing what alok shared um i mean this whole concept around universal access and uh what we do better than any other vendor is um we have the same user experience look and feel whether using our app on your phone in your office on your desktop in your room system or whether you're using a browser and so, and the WebRTC aspect of the browser, we've been pioneers in that. And so, it very much looks like our, our app, and we're much farther along than other companies on, on the WebRTC. So why is the WebRTC important? Is because when you're doing external collaboration with a partner, job candidate, uh, supply chain, you can't force that third party to download a certain piece of software. The browser, is sort of the universal access point there. And so um, that is a big uh, advantage for us because it allows a whole bunch of broader use cases um, around video collaboration. The other piece that we have an advantage is that uh, we do provide that single user experience and leveraging all the collaboration investments you've made. Um, so whether you want to use uh, Slack as your chat client, we have a native integration into Slack. If you want to use Teams as your chat and video point-to-point -point client, we integrate into Teams both from a user standpoint as well as we connect Teams to your Cisco and Polycom room systems. Uh, if you want to use Google, we have a natural integration into Google. If you want to use uh, Microsoft as your email, so that that also is a big advantage for us. And again. That's part of our DNA as being an enterprise built platform is uh, integration into the tools customer already already had was a very important um, requirement. Thanks, Quentin. Um, a lot of users also want to understand is this uh, especially meant only for enterprises or can SMEs also take advantage of uh, the platform? Uh, no, absolutely, uh, uh, Varun. Uh, it's again a great question. Uh, it's it's not only for large uh, organizations. This very much can be used for any size of businesses. Right now, we are uh, sort of in the free trial version. Uh, soon, we'll have a commercial launch. It'll be very simple. 
few packages which will be there uh, depending on different requirements so absolutely one this is uh, this is uh, for any size of business educational institutes hospitals large enterprises anything so i think it's it's just a matter of uh, a few a few packages and slots which are there which are very simple uh, very simply carved out for commercial launch eventually and this definitely addresses pretty much all segments of the market uh, this eventually uh, because there's a lot of technology involved here so again on, on that front we are not into the freeware business honestly speaking uh, while and I know there would be some questions about so many free tools uh, so this is this is not not definitely going to be in that free race uh, thing I think it's a lot of uh, value that we feel that this has features brings to the customer therefore this would be a commercial product uh, having said that it's not a product only for large organizations every size of the business including different segments of education healthcare everything will be supported there uh, as you can see on the screen right now we are in the we are in the free trial phase so any organization any one of you please feel free to go to the site of airtel.in slash blue jeans uh, you just need to do a simple simple registration there and not only for you but for your entire organization you can actually activate those ids and experience it firsthand uh, and and see for yourself if some of the things we talked about in this webinar today are actually live and, and you have that same experience so which is why we had launched and started this product with a free trial uh, the link that you see on the screen i think uh, i'll encourage everybody again not for you but for your organizations your teams to go here uh, create your ids it's a very simple process soon we'll be having where one or two very simple commercial package launches and uh, coming back to the original question no it's not for large enterprises it pretty much caters to all segments excellent there's a related question around the maximum number of users uh, that can come on the platform. I, I remember from your presentation, I think you said 50,000. Am I right on that? Uh, yes. So one of the two parts to this, there's an events platform like the event we are having. Uh, 50,000 is the number for the large events platform, which is one to many kind of communication for normal meetings. Uh, right now, it is a meeting size of uh, 150 participants which can join a meeting. Uh, this soon, I think in the next release, and if Quentin would like to add anything on that, I think this number will be enhanced further. But right now for events, it's very, very large. It's almost 50,000. But for normal office meetings, etc., uh, it's uh, the current uh, capability is around 150 participants. Uh, and I think that will be enhanced in the next release of the of the product. That's right. No, our, um in our events platform, we actually can go up to 100,000 um, users um, on an event. And for just a, a large meeting, it's 150 now, but it'll be 500 uh, by the end of the year. Excellent. Um, some of the users want to understand, do you already have customers uh, who are using the product right now in India? Oh, absolutely. As I said, right now, it's... Uh, we have uh, so two parts to that and then I'll also like Quentin to add a little bit about the global uh, set of uh, very very impressive set of customers but in India as I said we've launched this around a month back or so slightly over a month uh, because this was a free trial launch we have not commercially launched it we have a massive massive uh, number of customers who are already on this platform and using it in the last whatever 40 days or so right now it's a free trial so these are all our existing and new customers uh, who are experiencing both the events as well as the meetings platform there uh, and that number is growing sort of by the day because uh, we've got a lot of uh, positive feedback around that uh, and quentin can give a sense also about maybe the global customers i think that's also a very large and a very impressive list there yeah we've got some um, you know terrific uh brand names of global customers across social media companies, global manufacturers, global services companies, global financial institutions, and uh, most of them have a pretty large uh, India presence. And so they've been using uh, the BlueJeans service uh, for their, their India operation for, for over 10 years. How would the licensing work? 
for enterprises and for home users? No, it's a very simple thing. Uh, it's simple uh, user-based license mechanism, which can have a very large meeting size, uh, a room size, or a smaller room size. I think that these are the two simple cuts that we will have. Uh, and across the board, for large or small enterprises, people can use it. So it's going to be a room size-based package, and uh, some of the feature packages, like, for example, recording uh, is unlimited, or you need lesser recording, and those kinds of things. So one or two simple products will be available, or packages, which is around to do that. How big a meeting size do you need? Uh, and some of the other features. Do you really need the room integration, et cetera, or you, you don't need that, and, and things like that. So some of these two, three simple elements of any conferencing, which is the meeting room size, some of the room features, et cetera, uh, I think based on that, two or three packages would be available. And uh, also, uh, Alok, if you could elaborate a bit more on room as a service. Uh, there's a question coming uh, from one of the audience members. If you can talk about a bit on room as a service. Sure. So there are uh, there are two parts uh, to this that I would like to cover. One part is uh, any office is having a video conferencing setup, which is the traditional setup of a camera, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And customers want that to be integrated to Blue Gene. And when I say integration, again, a very technical word. So very simply speaking, you want to join a meeting or initiate a meeting from your VC room in an office, right? Uh, that's one part of that product. This part of the product is using a very, very simple one-touch dial-in option. It's already part of any user license uh, in the enterprise space. So that's part one. It's not a separate thing. It's part of your experience wherein you can join in from your phone, from your laptop, or you can walk into your VC room and, and click a button to connect using your TV and the camera and the existing setup, etc. That's one part of what rooms means. The other part of the service is, of course, that if a customer wants Airtel to set up their, their VC room, then there's a set of, uh, set of obviously, uh, the, the, the monitor or the camera and integrated with that license, and that can also be set up. So essentially, we can set up a room for you in your office to be a VC room using BlueGene. So that's an additional thing. Ability to join from a VC room uh, is, is already part of the enterprise license. Uh, Quentin, uh, keep me honest if there's anything you would like to add, but that's what room means. Uh, no, I think you, you captured it uh, quite nicely. And uh, the the other piece we, we've done, rooms as a service, and I'm not, I don't think it's quite ready or available in the India market, is to bundle a Dolby uh, meeting room endpoint uh, with the Blue Gene service and charge it on a subscription basis versus a capital expense. Uh, yep. But I, I don't think we've um, made that available yet in, in the India market. Right. No. So that's a very important point. So obviously uh, the second part that I touched upon, which is setting up a room for you for VC, that can be uh, typically that is an investment of, of whatever ele uh, elements are there in the VC room. So that model commercially can be on an investment model or a one time or a subscription based model where you pay over a period of 12 months or 24 months and things like that. So I think both will be available. Well. Thanks, Alok. There's a final question around Airtel Bridge and uh, whether it, it would be integrated with Blue Jeans or would, would it remain as an independent element from Airtel? No, absolutely, Varun. Uh, again, a good question uh, for whoever uh, asked this. Thank you for asking again. Uh, it's, it's definitely integrated. So we have a huge, huge number of customers who are Airtel's normal audio based bridge traditional customers. So all of that bridge is integrated into BlueGene, and therefore, if you're having the traditional, you know, your, your passcodes and all of that. So as I said, you can both initiate a meeting and join a meeting using the, the traditional audio bridge model also, whether it is in events or it is in meetings both. So it's fully integrated, the Airtel audio bridge, and which is why it's called Airtel BlueGene. Excellent. I think uh, you've covered it really well. Uh, with that, uh, we've come to the end of the session. Thanks so much, Alok. Thanks, Quentin, for joining in and uh, responding to all the questions. Uh, I know there are a lot of questions still coming in, but uh, in case your question has not been answered, feel free to uh, write to Airtel at airtelforbusiness at airtel.com. 
and uh, I'm sure uh, your queries would be answered there. With that, I'd like to thank everyone for joining in. Uh, stay tuned for more such sessions. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Varun, and thanks everyone for joining. Appreciate your time.